In an experiment involving two variables, P and Q, the following results were obtained. So the results are there in the table, Q and P. On the grid provided, draw the line of best fit for the data. So the grid is there. Part B, the variables P and Q are connected by the equation P is equals to KQ plus C, where K and C are constants. Use the graph to determine 1. The values of K and C correct to two decimal places. 2. The equation of the line of best fit. And lastly, the value of Q when P is equals to 0. So let's go to the first part. Why are we supposed to use this data? To come up with uh, the line of best fit the line of best fit so to draw this uh, we shall plot p against q p against q so we shall have on the y-axis we shall have p then on the x-axis we shall have q so the first thing is to look at the values and determine the scale that you're going to use so for q starting all the way from 1.0 to 4.5 so looking at the space that I already have here uh, beginning from 0 here so we can use an interval of uh, interval of uh, 2 centimeters to represent 1 is okay so this is 1 2 3 4 and then 5 that one will be okay then when you look at the data for P uh, the smallest 0 0.3 the highest is 0 0.71 so looking at um, what you have here the space using 0 0.1 will be okay so 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 everything is okay so having that now we can plot uh, the first one is um, 1.0 0 0.3 so 1 .0 is here 1.0 0 0.3 there it is so the second one 2.0 0 0.42 2 2.0 then 0 0.42 so it is good to identify the size of one small square will be 0 0.0 this will be 0 0.02 the size of one small square so 2 0 0.42 will be here to be there so it is good to understand if one centimeter is equals to 0 0.1 uh, then the size of one small square will be 0 0.02 that one 2.5 0 0.48 2.5 is here 0 0.48 so 0 0.4 is here so 0 0.42, 468 to be here, 0 0.48. And then the other one is a 3, 3, 0 0.52, 3, 3, 0 0.52, 3, 0, 0 0.52 is here. And then 3.5, 0 0.6, 3 3 0 0.6, 3.5, 0.6 is here. 3.5, 0 0.6. And then the other one is 4.0, 0 0.66, 0 0.0, 0 0.66, 0.2.4. 0.6 will be here 4.0 0.66 then the last one the last one is a 4.5 0 0.71 4.5 4.5 0 0.71 
will be somewhere here the center here 4.5 0 0.71 will be there so these are the points you've already joined them now to draw the line of best fit is a line which will contain most of the points and uh, when you look at this our line will look like this you should have a line that will contain most of the points a line that will contain most of the points so so that is the line of best fit it is a line whereby most of the points that you've plotted are lying on that line as you can see this point this point and this point lies on that line then you have this one so majority of the points are there so that is how you draw the line of best fit part b the variables p and q are connected by the equation p is equals to kq plus c where k and c are constants use the graph to determine one the values of k and c correct two decimal places so we need to compare this equation that is p constant q plus c compare these with the general equation of a straight line which is y is equals to mx plus c and uh, now that you want to find k and c just need to compare these k is uh, the gradient k will be the gradient if it matches with m and in the equation of a straight line m is the gradient which matches with the k so k will be the gradient and then c c will be the y intercept c will be the y intercept so to find k we just need to get the gradient of that line that we've drawn just identify two points i'll take for example one and 0 0.3 i'll take one and 0 0.3 and i'll pick another point on that line line of best fit four and um 0 0.664 and 0 0.66 so let me pick four 0 0.66 so 4 and 0 0.66 so these are two points that are lying on that line to get the gradient you know how we do this so k which is the gradient will be changing y 0 0.66 minus this uh that is changing y then we're changing x 4 minus 1 and this will give um this will give 0 0.66 minus 0 0.3 will give so 0 0.66 minus 0 0.3 will give 0 0.36 divided by 4 minus 1 is 3 when you work out this you get 0 0.12 it's 0 0.12 that is the gradient now let's go to let's go to the equation the other part the other part which is the equation of the line of best fit the equation of the line of best fit now having obtained uh, k we still need to get c we need to get c uh, c is very easy to identify just say that c is the y-intercept that is uh, where does that line cut the y-axis that is what you mean by y-intercept the point at which that line cuts the y-axis and this is the point and this is uh remember the size of one small square we have five squares between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 so one small square is 0 0.02 so this would be 0 0.18 this point 0 0.18 so that is the value of c so now we have the value of um we have the value of k which is the gradient 0 0.12 and c which is 0 0.18 now to get the equation for this part the equation of the line you just need to take this p is equals to k k is uh, 0 0.12 then you have q plus c c 
c is uh, 0 0.18 so we just need to substitute the values of k and c in this uh, equation here to get the equation of the line of best fit so this Simbo. is the equation of Simbo. the line of best fit Simbo. then the last one is uh, quite easy the value of q when p is equals to zero now having this equation i uh, just need to substitute when p is zero so p is equals to zero is equals to 0 0.12 q plus 0 0.18 so just uh, work out Q and you notice that Q will be given by 0 0.18 divided by negative 0 0.12 and this will give um, so 0 0.18 divided by a negative 1.5 and that is how we're supposed to solve that question